Hey guys, this will be a quick video for the Snowclaw Cub, another secret pet in Dragonflight, so if you'd like to see how to collect it, then please keep on watching. Once again, thanks to all the people in the secret Discord channel, including WonderWes, who worked out how to get this pet. First thing you want to do is head to Valdraken and pick up this quest, which is located right here on the map. Then proceed to feed each pet. Pretty much have to stand right on top of them to trigger the animation. Try not to get too distracted by the paw prints, unless of course it's a pet you don't have. Once you've fed all of the pets, head back to the NPC to pick up the next quest. Okay, so now you're going to head to the daycare center, which isn't too far. And loot a barrel that may or may not be behind the bookshelf, depending on how fast this part of the city loads for you. You'll want to make sure that you have Dragon Isles cooking learnt. But thankfully, I already had one in the barrel, so I didn't have to make it myself. But most likely, you'll already have two of the ingredients in your bags, just through questing in the zones. And then the other two items can be easily purchased from any of the cooking vendors in Valdraken. I just headed to the local inn nearby. So just in case you want to make these yourselves for any other purpose, you can just purchase the two items from the cooking trainer. I just made one anyway because I need to get my cooking skill up, so why not with one of these? So once you have the treat, you're going to feed it to this duckling. And then head back to the original NPC.
Now you get a title which will come in handy for the next step. So before you head out to the NPC, you will need two items and one of them you'll most likely have in your bag just through questing in the area. Three pieces of horn swag hunk, which comes from those huge frogs in either the Waking Shores or the Onaran Plains. The second item you won't have, you will have to buy from a vendor if you have access to him. So that is one honey snack from Dealer Vexel, which, as you may know, is only neutral for a short amount of time once you complete one of the quest lines in the Waking Shores. If he is no longer neutral to you, then there is a way to make him neutral again by turning in a restored obsidian key, which gives you the World Breaker buff for one day, I believe. But if you don't want to do any of that, then you can just purchase one from the auction house, which is what I ended up doing. In case you're not sure where the auction house is, it is right here on the map. Here we go, honey snack, 95 gold. Once you head out to the Azure Span, you'll find the NPC somewhere between Ronan's Shield and Theron's Watch at 6718. So to help target the little guy, you're looking for a primal bear cub. I just used a macro to make him targetable. And then when you get close to him, this is where the two pieces of food come in because you need to entice him with a snack. You also want to make sure that the title that you just received is active. This will prevent him from running away too much, allowing you to get close enough to access his little chat option. Once again, you may get distracted by another pet battle. This is one that I actually didn't have in my journal at the time. So, hey, why not? Always nice when you trap them the first time. Turns out the bear cub wasn't too far from this little spot. So I spent my little macro, you can see he's now been targeted. When you try and click on him, he does still, well, he doesn't run away, he kind of walks away. But at least I can get close enough to access his little chat option. So now once you give him the little treats, he will appear in your bags. And at the time of this video, he still seems to be bugged, as in he's not appearing in the journal, so to summon him you can just type forward slash summon pet and then the name of the pet. So there you go, pretty cute huh guys? As usual thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.